Greetings. How do you like that outhouse behind me? Right now I'm in the process of packaging up and sending out the two copies um, for the two people who entered my giveaway contest on Instagram. So today I was going to briefly discuss uh, guerrilla marketing of all things. Um, we, I've done internet promotions of the book and stuff and um, I, you know, paid, paid promotions on Facebook and Instagram and um, they've been good. I mean, it, it, it helped, um, but it's kind of cool to do things that are outside the box as well. Um, and that's in the realm of guerrilla marketing. It's usually free. It's something that uh, a lot of people have done successfully throughout the years. And that right there is our sign. Um, you wouldn't believe there's a different variation of this sign my wife made. Um, we were way up there a few days ago and for quite a while, several days we were up there and we had that sign sitting out. People were coming out to look at that uh, lookout tower anyway and so we put um, on the sign Stray Spark, a novel about a lookout tower, or a book about a lookout tower and people would come up and ask us so you wrote a book, so you wrote a book, and, and um, we talked for a little while, um, explain the inspiration behind the book, and how this area was what uh, inspired it. And then they would um, take a picture, most of them would take a picture with their phone, and say, I'm gonna check that out. And so it was really cool because um, it's more meaningful when you can talk to people one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, rather than being somebody hiding behind some random phone or computer screen a thousand miles away. Um, so these people are coming from all over the country as well to see this lookout tower up here. And so, um, you know, to have a book related to that and inspired by that is something that they're interested in. Um, so it worked out really good to have this sign up and it's, it just directs them to Amazon so they can just search my name and find the book. So, um, wait for the wind here. It's a bit, it's a bit windy. I'm posing in front of this outhouse. It's an awesome backdrop. Anyway, um, some of you might be familiar with uh, a man by the name of Robert Rodriguez. He's a filmmaker. Um, I read his, I was given a, his book um, when I was maybe 17 by my uncle. I read it, it was called something or, uh, of a guerrilla filmmaker. I can't remember the name of the title, but anyway, documents his own um, perspective of uh, start to finish of his movie El Mariachi, which eventually got picked up by Paramount Pictures, but it was just basically a very low budget. He like did prac studies, sold his body to science to um, fund the filmmaking, uh, had friends do the acting and everything. So, but it ended up being of such a caliber that um, Paramount noticed it and purchased the rights to it. I guess. Anyhow, um, he did a short video you could probably find here on YouTube um, where he was doing a film school. It was just kind of a promo, but just kind of like a, a short video. And a good piece of advice in it was um, he's standing in front of a classroom full of uh, wannabe filmmakers, and he says, you know, the first step you need to take in being a filmmaker is stop saying, I want to be a filmmaker and just being one. So here's a business card. He gave everybody a business card and, and says, hi, I am so-and-so. I'm a filmmaker. So, you know, in my case, I just, I, I didn't want to be like, 
uh, I'm trying to be a writer, and a lot of people do that, you know, they feel like not confident enough, and so they say, I want to be a writer. Just say you are and just do it. Just write. Um, just write something and and publish it. And there's, there's no better time now than now to publish something because it's very easy um, to do it. The promotion is probably the more difficult thing, the hype. So anyway, I just want to share that with you um, as an encouragement to just better to just go for it than to kind of put it on the back burner and say I'm trying to do that just do it and uh, and don't be afraid to think outside the box with um, uh, marketing because you know flash mobs were a thing for a while and they would always stick with people and it was free it's just a coordinated event and you just show up at a random public place and do something and everybody remembers it so it's free, you know. So uh, there's there's all sorts of things you can do that are free. You don't have to have um, a huge budget for it. And sometimes it actually has a bigger impact than would than there would be if you had a big budget. So anyhow, that's my idea. Actually, it was my wife's idea for the sign, and it turned out way better than we thought it would. Again, a lot of people. Uh, very good conversations with a lot of different people from all over the place who said they would um, look us up. They took a picture so they knew uh, my name and could type it in on Amazon when they get home. So, y'all have a great day. Peace.